older, more veteran guys in this group. What's that like been for you? Uh, no, it's been okay. Uh, you know, you get the odd jab from uh, from the guys. I think I am the oldest guy in the team. So, I th you know, you're going to hear about it in the dressing room and I'm sure I'll be the brunt of a couple of practical jokes. But I think it's good to be around the young guys. You know, they bring good energy and uh, make things fun and interesting. Yeah. Uh, so where are you in, in terms of your career? I mean, a lot of people know about your past, you know, with the Ducks and the Stanley Cup and all that stuff. Where, where are you and where are you trying to get back to? Well, I, uh, I've been the last couple of years playing in Europe. Uh, I would eventually like to get back there, but uh, there's a, an economic crunch going on over there, and uh, there's a lot of hockey players sitting at home right now. Uh, Utah was kind enough to uh, give me an invitation to come out and play. Uh, I've played here in Utah before uh, many years ago, and uh, back when they were in the IHL, and know what the city and this team and organization is about, and, and I jumped on the opportunity right away. Yeah. So based on the, what you've seen since you've, since you've been here, what are your impressions of this team and what kind of things can they accomplish this season? Well, we have a very hard-working team. Uh, Coach Colley, uh, he, he keeps everyone on their toes and uh, the guys respect him uh, as a coach. I think uh, you know we have a young team, a, a lot of new faces here. Uh, from the start that they've had the first couple games, I think it's uh, you know, very positive. And coming into this weekend, two home games, I think everyone's really excited. You've got a unique perspective because you've seen hockey on so many different levels and everything. And so what's it like, I, I, again, I, to have these young guys kind of where they are and where you are and stuff, and to be playing alongside these guys? Well, it, it's good for me personally. It gives me good energy, you know, to, to get out here and see how much uh, these guys love playing the game of hockey. And, and I feel the same way. Uh, you know, as you get older and things aren't maybe going as well as uh, you hope they would or, you know, to come out here and see the smiley faces and, and uh, the enthusiasm of the team, it, it, gives, it gives me, I feel like I'm 22 again. So uh, I hope it carries on to the ice for me and for the team and looking forward to building a great relationship with these guys. Do you ever sit back and reflect about the things that you've seen and experienced? I mean, being from the, the pinnacle, the top of the peak, and then I'm sure you've also had some, some low times in, uh, in the lower leagues as well, you know, maybe played in front of 50 people or so. Yeah, yeah, I've... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I've definitely been uh, down in, the, in in that bottom when I was younger, uh, you know, f having to fight my way up in the Dallas organization, which was winning Stanley Cups at the time. So, you know, it's hard and, you know, you think you should always be at that next level. But I think just working hard every day, um, <clears throat> excuse me, keeping a positive attitude and, you know, just doing everything you can do to help your team win and uh, be successful with the group of guys that you have. Rick, congratulations. Yeah, and, uh, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks. You know, yeah. Good luck this season. Thank we'll you very much. Appreciate you. it. All thanks. Right.